Hello, Fruit Bats, and anybody else who's watching my videos, thank you. Um, I was just watching one of my friend's videos, Nikki. Um, I'll put the link to it below, but she and I come from a similar health history, health past of anorexia and then coming to this fruit-based lifestyle. And what she was talking about in her video was called How to Change Your Thinking in Your Life or something like that. Um, just really resonated with me and reminded me of like a part of my journey through this lifestyle to recovery that um, I hadn't talked about that much yet, so I want to talk about today. So pretty much everybody in this, <laughs> in this movement knows who um, Freely and Harley are, right? Okay, so a lot of people have a problem with them. Um, the way that they deliver their message, for, you know, rubs people the wrong way. And, um, not everyone, but some people, and I was one of those people. And, um, yeah, for like, a, for like a while, I was a total hater. I never wrote comments or anything. I never like really talked about it to people, but I just, to myself, I was like, I don't like them because their message of eating unlimited calories was threatening to my eating disorder, and I was holding on to my eating disorder for dear life. Um, just like any other disorder or addiction, it got me in, in this weird way. This is just something you learn through recovery. It got me through a part of my life that otherwise I couldn't cope with. So it makes sense that I was holding on to it, but it was time to let go. So... For a while, I really didn't like them. I didn't like that they were so upfront about, no, you need to eat enough. And it just, I knew it was true, so therefore it scared me because it meant that I had to change. And I, I resisted that for a long time. I didn't like, I would always watch their videos because I still, it was like, there was this part of me that just knew that that was the truth and what I needed to do. And then there was this other part of me that was just like, all right, I really hate them. And um, I was just like all of those other people that just doubt, 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 and hate, hate, hate about high calorie living and, you know, oh, fruit makes you fat, but they're too thin. <laughs> like, you know, just complete nonsense, basically. And it's because I had my own bullshit that was keeping me from like admitting that truth to myself because again it meant that I would have to change and I that was scary it was really really terrifying but eventually there's like an emotional and a physical prong to eating disorders probably most sicknesses but especially eating disorders and eventually I had worked on myself emotionally enough to where and I was miserable enough physically where I was ready to let go, finally. And um, it took eight years, but I got there. And as soon as I did, I knew what I had to do. I, I had always known, at least for those two and a half years that I was doing this lifestyle under carbs, I always knew what I needed to do, and that was eat more and eat abundantly. <laughs> And I knew that I was going to gain weight, and I knew that it was going to be difficult. But I also knew that I had to do it, and um, I had known for a while. So I finally got there, and then I started watching Freely and Harley more, more <laughs> often than I had been before, and re-watching all these old videos, and basically trying to reprogram myself and my thinking about calories most especially, but other things too. Um, and, you know, like Harley and Freely's kind of message of like not, like allowing yourself to be the victim and taking control of your health and your life is a hard one to swallow, but when you're in a place where you're ready to change and you're ready to get better, you're ready to get healthy, whatever it is that you need to change in your life, um, it's a life-saving message. It completely, 100% changed and 
saved my life. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that I would be in the ground by now. Or <laughs> like this one movie I watched said, on the other side of the grass. So um, I'm so, so incredibly eternally grateful. My dog's tail is in the background, by the way, right now. Um, for them being hard asses, basically. And um, having that tough love mentality or um, attitude towards their viewers and people that they want to help because it completely changed and saved my life. And if they hadn't been that way, I really, there's, there really wasn't anyone else before them or even at that time simultaneously with them that was doing the same thing, pushing, 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 eating enough and you know, drinking enough water, whatever, but mainly calories, and, um, and really being relentless about it, and being like, listen up, you need to do this, or it's not going to work, and, um, I really don't think that I ever would have figured it out if it wasn't for that, if it weren't for them, so I just have so many mountains <laughs> of gratitude, and just, oh, I'm just so happy, because of what they've done and um, what they continue to do every day. And um, I, just, I just really believe now at this point that if you feel really, really angry and resistant towards their message, that um, you've got some work to do. Basically, I, I really, I really do. I just, from my own experience, like, we're going to be afraid of the things that threaten us and our bad habits. And, you know, there's that saying within the, like, plant-based <laughs> world of people like to hear good things about their bad habits, and it's totally 100% true. And, um, but hearing bad things about your bad habits is good for you. Hearing good things about your good habits is good for you. And they do a really good job of doing that. <laughs> so... Yeah, gratitude, I'm so, just so grateful. And um, and they really did help me change my thinking and change my life, like Nikki said. And um, But, you know, you have to do it, basically, was also the point of her video, clearly, obviously, um, and mine. That even though I was listening to that message for a long time, I was so resistant to it for... A really long time and it wasn't until I gave up trying to hold on to something that was destroying me that I was able to receive that message and get it and get better um yeah like if you your ego will take different forms for me it took the form of an eating disorder and um my I should say unchecked ego because obviously no, that's good but anyways um and yours may take a different form and tell you that um, being vegan or high carb or whatever is stupid and uh, you're gonna get angry about it. Um, and just, you know, try to observe that and think about it. And, um, it may mean that you're close to like unlocking something really amazing because, um, you know, when it's a real threat, you'll get really defensive. And if it's a real threat, that means maybe you'll change. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to say. I've God, I did this video like five times and I finally got it. Yay. Okay. I'm going to go finish my watermelon smoothie and I have to go to work soon. So have a good day. Bye.